We're going to take a look at uh, Emma's January 27, 2014 um, athlete analysis. We're going to see her run full speed there, followed by half speed, and then frame by frame. Emma has done a really good job over the past three or four months of working on the uh, form changes that we've asked her. She's done so well that with her upper body, she's actually gone past and overcorrected, and we're going to take a look at that right here. Um, she's supposed to be keeping her arm like an L shape, um, but she's she's getting it L shape on the way back, but turning it into a V on the way forward. Um, so we need her just to relax that, and it's just she's just overcorrecting by trying a little bit too hard. So that's fine. That's a very easy fix. Other than that, her her arm is in a great place. Um, they're on a great plane. Um, she's keeping her hand hip to pocket. Uh, everything looks great. So we'll just get her to, to be a little bit more natural and relaxed with her upper body, and that will help her out. Um, get a little better momentum with her arms. Now we're going to push this forward to about seven yards and we're going to take a look. What's slowing her down is not her upper body. What's slowing her down is her lower body. We will, I will say that her posture is perfect if you see there. Um, her upright running form looks great. Um, everything is picture perfect and waist up right here in this picture besides the arm uh, turning into a V. But it's her legs. Um, she's not picking her knees up. She's got a very short choppy stride. So we need her to pick our knees up, and we, we talked about this before, but she needs another probably maybe even six inches to, to really open that stride up so we can cover as much ground per step as we possibly can. So it's going to be key for her if she wants to get quicker, especially on those longer runs. She's going to have to pick those legs up. Um, another problem with her lower body, and this is a major problem, and we talked about this before as well, but if you watch how off axis her leg is. Um, it's gonna, it can cause some hip and knee issues as you see there with the red circles. But if you look, her, the, her line is the purple line and that's her angle and then the correct angle is blue. You see how off axis that is, that's gonna be 30, 40 degrees. Um, so it's gonna be very important for her to straighten that out. We might even have to end up doing some private training with her to try to specifically work on that. And it's a very hard thing to fix. But it can be done and it's going to be it's going to be really key for her if she wants to, to speed up to fix this um we need her bringing that knee straight up striking straight down on the ball of the foot and then driving through with nothing that's a really wicked angle there so we want to get that fixed um vertical um she did a really good job here she jumped to 15 and i believe she jumped to 15 last time so we were unable to, to gain in this category um, but i expect next time she does it she will um, we're going to really put a lot of emphasis on her with her jumping um, as she didn't perform quite as well as I would have liked her to uh, as it relates to these two drills. She did make a three inch gain here, which is good. I'll take any gain anytime. Um, and she did a really good job there. Um, the, the vertical and the standing broad jump are very important as it relates to the 10 and 20 yard times. So we want to make sure we really pay attention to those scores. This is where I was most impressed with her. Her lateral speed has increased. She gained two more reps in 30 seconds, which means she's 10 yards faster, which I thought was a very, very huge uh, gain for her. Looking at her scores, her last assessment was on 922, um, and all kind of strength gains, which is great. We still need to work on that lower back, but if you look at her speed scores, I mean, just huge, huge changes, especially if you look at the percentage of the change um, between the lateral, the 10, 20. Um, we just need to work on those explosive drills and get those up a little bit more. Um, she's made a big uh, stride with her flexibility and she was able to actually touch the floor this time. Uh, and we need to continue to work on her flexibility, uh, upper and lower body, so she can continue to get better. Yeah.